Welcome back, friends. Thank you for joining me for another paint with me. I'm Andy, and I hope that you will join me for a little bit of chatting and plenty of music. As always, if this isn't your thing, please feel free to mute the volume of this video and listen to your own playlist. To start off today's discussion, I thought we could talk about watercolors. In this piece, I am using a mixture of tube watercolors and pan watercolors. The pan watercolors are Paul Rubens, which I really enjoy. The colors for that palette are very well thought out. The pigmentation is really rich and vibrant. I took a watercolor class last semester, and whenever I used these particular paints for a piece, I always got compliments on how vibrant and striking uh, the colors were for my, my works. So I highly recommend this watercolor set. If that's something you've been looking into, definitely worth the money. At the beginning of taking that class, we were instructed to purchase a bunch of different tube watercolors, preferably in the primary colors and then a few secondary colors that are harder to mix together yourself. And we were instructed to have one warm of each color and one cool version of each color. I have to admit, before taking this class, I was very against using two watercolors. I don't know why, in my head, I just had a stigma against it, I guess, or like they were intimidating. It was probably that they were intimidating to use. I thought like only professional artists could use tube watercolors or tube paints of any kind. And saying that sentence out loud, I realize how absolutely dumb that sounds. But, you know, there are certain things that stick with you from childhood, and uh, I guess that was one of them. Anyway, through that class, I did find an appreciation uh, for tube watercolors. I think that they definitely tend to be more concentrated, which is something that you definitely want to look for in a watercolor paint because you can always make the color more muted by adding water, but it's really hard to build up a nice saturated color when the original paint is just not at that level of vibrancy. Regretfully, I have not had a chance to try very many different watercolor paint brands, I am definitely in the market to look for some new ones. I'm not in any way committed to any of my tube watercolors that I have. I've used everything from the really super cheap Artist Loft Michaels brand pan watercolors. I have used the Kansai Tambi watercolors and the Paul Rubens in the pan. But I am definitely willing to try new product, so if you guys have any recommendations for good watercolors or watercolors that you guys are interested in me testing out in these paint with me's, please let me know in the comments down below. That sounded cheesy even to me. I am sorry. And with that, I think we can take our first music break actually believe a single word I'm saying, do you? Oh, sure, of course I believe you. Great. Just repeat the words I'm about to say, all right? Moon, prism, power, makeup. Right! Moon, prism, power, makeup!
things are happening in this city. Even the police can't handle what's going on. A dangerous enemy has appeared. You're the only one who can defeat this enemy. You're the guardian that's been chosen for this mission. Drunk to the bone when I met you I don't give a fuck with the next dude I don't really see no issues with it Just one of those nights when you want my back I don't want no love, you can have that back I just want that piece of my throat back one time
So I have been posting work in progress shots of this piece on my Instagram and a question that I have been getting a lot is what the inspiration for this piece was. When I was younger, at my dad's house, there were these photographs of babies in like floral onesies and I just remember thinking that those were one very strange uh, but also kind of cute and I think the photographer is named Anne and something okay I just looked it up her name is Anne Geddes <laughs> and she's very famous <laughs> um, but she her pieces were actually the inspiration for this piece also, this piece is a commission for one of my very good friends, Raven. She contacted me and asked me if I would be willing to make her some, quote, cool art, end quote. And of course, I said, heck yeah! Um, we are actually going to be doing an art trade, so this is my piece for her, and I have not yet seen the piece that she has done for me, but I am super excited because she is so talented, and I'm just itching to get my hands on a Raven original. <laughs> While painting this, I was trying to keep in mind that it would be going on a green wall, and that Raven had requested reds and oranges be in the piece, and it would be even better if I could somehow include a pretty lady. So I thought, what could be more up my alley than doing some reddish orange pink flowers with a surreal face in the middle? <laughs> when I was initially drawing the sketch for this, it was very late at night, and I was just going off of memory of what I could actually remember of those photographs that I saw at my dad's house when I was growing up. And I just remember everything looking very soft and delicate, and I knew that I wanted to kind of translate that into this piece, um, mostly via the colors, but also in the lines. I tried not to use very many um, harsh, straight lines. I wanted everything to be very flowy and organic, which I think I achieved here. Oh, I just realized my coffee is getting cold, so we will cut to more music and I will be back once, once, once I have consumed my coffee. Croissants? Stupid name, but they taste good. This is a tasty burger.
I've been feeling so, I've been feeling so down, yeah. Can you tell me why? Can you tell me why? I'm down, yeah. No friends of mine, no friends of mine around, yeah. Now I'm thinking of, now I'm thinking of. Light a cottage room blues, yeah. I wanna drown myself inside the juice, yeah. You know I keep on running from. Today's original topic for discussion was going to be astrology, but that actually led me down a really strange rabbit hole. I started to wonder why astrology is a little bit stigmatized as being girly or frivolous, and then that led me to thinking about how other things that are labeled as girly or not of interest to males are also labeled as frivolous and how girly and frivolous have become kind of synonymous in today's society and not to get up on my feminist soapbox but that's just really messed up and i didn't want to end up turning this video into just an angry rant so anyway, my sun sign is an Aries and my rising sign is Scorpio. How about you? <laughs> Actually, I'm uh, genuinely very curious to know. I love hearing about people's astrological signs and if they identify with the typical characteristics of those signs. I always think that's kind of fascinating. I'm also a big believer in energies and spirituality and things being connected. My friend Sita actually recommended this sound healing video to our group chat the other day and at first I and my initial gut reaction was to be skeptical but you know it's scientifically proven that cats purr at a frequency that is supposed to enable healing like and promote healing within other cats and they know that when their humans are sick they'll like sit on them and purr and stuff to you know promote healing in them so i don't see why 
sound healing is any less scientific than that i don't know let me know your guys's thoughts because i 2020 is a real shit show of a year but i i feel like i am becoming way more open to thoughts and ideas that initially i would have scoffed at i remember reading a quote earlier this year that was something along the lines of growth is never easy oftentimes it's very difficult and rooted in struggle basically nothing comes from comfort growth does not come from a place of comfort and familiarity growth comes from a place of uncertainty and a willingness to seek out knowledge and can you tell that i am truly caffeinated right now <laughs> I'm not even sure how the start of this was me talking about how astrology was going to be the topic and now we've moved on to uh, growth and armchair philosophy. And on that note, I believe we have time for one last song to close us out for this video. Thank you as always for joining me and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye! I have no attachment to the name Batosai the Manslayer. Just the same, I can't allow someone like you to wear it. Can't allow someone like you to wear it.